everyone. I hope you're doing well, and of course Arnie does too. Most apex predators on this planet have some very impressive teeth and very muscular sets of jaws, but which animal has the strongest bite force? This turns out to be a very hard question to answer, as you can't exactly walk up to an animal and chuck a bite force measuring device into their mouths and ask them to bite down on it as hard as they can. Some of the ways in which scientists measure bite force is by putting a piece of food on a bite force measuring device and inviting the animal to bite on it. But even this method throws up some problems, as you don't know if the animal is biting with its full potential, and also the force is much stronger at the back of their mouth than it is at the front of their mouth. So each of the bite forces I'll be going through today may not be their full potential, but it's definitely a bite force which they can produce. And today I will be going through five animals with some of the strongest bite forces. And to start off today's video, we'll be heading to the freshwaters of North America, as we have the alligator snapping turtle. This turtle is the largest freshwater species of turtle in North America, and is often confused with the common snapping turtle. These two species are part of the same ecological niche, but are not closely related to each other. This species is normally found in the southeastern states, where they're usually found in slow-moving rivers and streams. Alligator snapping turtles are predominantly aquatic, spending most of their time in water, as they can stay submerged for around 50 minutes before needing to surface for air. These turtles are primarily carnivorous, feeding on fish, crustaceans, and in some rare cases, small mammals. They tend to ambush their prey by using their appendage on their tongue to mimic a worm, which entices prey over, where they can easily be snapped up. Feeding on this diet, they're thought to reach a maximum size of around 80 centimeters or 31.8 inches across the carapace. But as these turtles are relatively slow growers, it can take them a very long time to reach this size. But these turtles really do have time on their side, as they're thought to live to around 70 years old. But this turtle's hooked mouth and bulky head aren't just for show, as they're thought to be able to bite down with a force of around 1,000 to 1,200 psi. And to put that into perspective, that's around seven and a half times as strong as a human bite. So this is definitely a turtle that you shouldn't put your hands near. But for our next animal, we'll be heading over to Africa as we have the gorillas. Now there are two species of gorilla, the eastern gorilla and the western gorilla. But each of these two species has two subspecies, which can be found in the tropical forests of equatorial Africa. Gorillas are the largest living primates, reaching heights of around 1.8 meters tall. And although this might not seem that impressive, as I'm sure many of you watching this will be taller than this, gorillas are built different, as their arm spans are thought to reach 2.6 meters, and obviously they're a lot stronger than we are, as gorillas are considered to be around four to nine times stronger than the average human. In the wild, gorillas are normally found in small troops, mainly consisting of around five to 30 gorillas. Gorillas day is mainly divided between resting and eating, as they mainly eat very fibrous foods, such as leaves, stems, shoots, and wild fruits. And if you ever get a chance to look at a gorilla's teeth, it doesn't seem to suit their vegetarian lifestyle, as they have rather scary canines that look like they can cause a lot of damage. But these teeth are mainly used for display, to either defend against external threats, or to scare off other males. But if a gorilla did decide to use its teeth in a fight, they can bite down with around 1,300 pounds per square inch. And to put that into perspective, that's over five times as much power as your average dog. So although they're not an apex predator, they do have the bite strength and teeth to be one. But for our next species, we'll be heading to Central and South America, as we have the jaguar. Now people tend to confuse use the jaguar with the leopard, but jaguars tend to be a lot stockier and generally more muscular. The jaguar's tail is generally shorter and its head is a lot broader. And as I'm sure many of you know, jaguars can come in their normal pattern and a full black color variant. But this black color variant can also be seen in leopards as well. This coloration is just a genetic mutation as they have a gene that leads to a surplus of melanin. In the rainforests of South America, the jaguar is an apex predator as they're the third largest big cat in the world, growing up to 1.7 meters long and weighing around 100 120 kilograms, which is around the same weight as a wild boar. Jaguars are opportunistic hunters and will prey on almost anything, such as capybara, deer, tortoises, iguanas, armadillos, and even the largest animal in South America, the tapir. But as South America is also home to some of the most biodiverse waters in the world, they're not afraid to use this water as a resource, as they're actually excellent swimmers and will go after fish and even caiman. And to be able to kill an adult caiman, you do need a very strong bite, as they're thought to be able to bite down with the force of around 1,000 500 to 2000 psi. And to put that into perspective, that's around three times as powerful as a lion's bite. So there's no doubt that this species really is king of the Amazon rainforest. But for our next animal, we'll be heading back over to Africa as we have the hippopotamus. Now there are two species of hippopotamus, the pygmy hippo and the common hippo. But it's very easy to tell these two species apart as one of them is a lot larger than the other. Hippos can be found in sub-Saharan Africa where they are semi-aquatic, spending the majority of their day in the water. After the elephant and the rhinoceros, the hippo is the third largest type of land mammal, reaching a maximum length of around 5 meters or 16.6 feet long. You shouldn't be fooled by the hippo's podgy body, as 
as they're capable of running around 19 miles per hour over short distances. And this can be very worrying, as hippos are some of the most dangerous animals on this planet, as it's estimated around 500 people are killed by hippos each year. Just like the gorillas, the hippos seem to have teeth that don't really suit them, as they have large tusks which they often display that look like they'll be better suited to a predator. Hippos are mostly herbivorous, leaving the water at night to feed on grasses. And although this diet doesn't require them to have a strong bite force, they're thought to be able to bite down with a force of around 1800 to 1900 psi. And to put that into perspective, that's almost double the bite force of a tiger. So with a bite force like that, it's no wonder why they're so dangerous. Now if you've ever found yourself researching this topic before, you'll know that there's certain types of animals that are always top of the list. These animals are the crocodilians. These are some of the strongest biters in the animal kingdom, and it's also very convenient that it's easy to get a crocodile to bite something. The three crocodilians that mainly top this list are the American alligator, the Nile crocodile, and the saltwater crocodile. And our final species is the latter. The saltwater crocodile can be found in the coastal waters from eastern India to Australia. Despite its name, it can also be found in brackish and fresh waters, where it's the undisputed apex predator, as they're known to reach a maximum size of around 6 meters or 20 feet long, and can weigh well over a ton. To get to this size, it has a very efficient hunting strategy, as it normally ambushes fish, reptiles, birds, and mammals, before drowning them or swallowing them whole. And unfortunately, in some cases, humans fall prey to this species, with a few people being killed by saltwater crocodiles each year. And although this can be a very scary thought, many more saltwater crocodiles are killed by humans each year, either for safety reasons or through being illegally poached for their skin. The saltwater crocodile's muscles to open its mouth are very weak, but when their mouth is moving in the opposite direction, it's a completely different story. As the saltwater crocodile is thought to be able to bite down with a force of around 3,700 psi, and to put that into perspective, that's over three times that of a hyena. So this goes down as a very big reason as to why you should be careful around the coastal waters of northern Australia. There are plenty of other animals that have a stronger bite force than the ones on this list, but as I've covered, it's very hard to get accurate measurements, and for some species it's hard to get a measurement at all. Two of the animals that are thought to have some of the strongest bite forces are the killer whale and the great white shark. Although it's been nearly impossible to get readings from both of these species, scientists have been able to create accurate estimates from both their weight and the amount of muscle that's connected to their jaws. And it's estimated that the great white shark has a PSI of around 4,000, which is over three times that of the polar bear. But the killer whale really wins the prize, as it's estimated that its bite force could be as much as 19,000 psi. But it seems like we won't know the true answer for a little while to come. If you want me to feature any more animals in a part 2, then let me know which species in the comments down below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.